backgrounds are in environmental science. Myself, I'm a microbiologist and biochemist, and my business partner, Leon, he has a background in environmental science and looking at uh, spread of disease. We've been researching on farms for around five years, and what we discovered with uh, mastitis was that mostly nothing is being measured. The, the farmer spends a lot of money on treating mastitis. Farmers were expressing extreme frustration to us that the treatments didn't seem to be working and cows came in again with repeat infections and we were like, are they the same infections or is this something different? So when you think about it, in the dairy industry we measure everything. Milk quality is measured within an inch of its life and mastitis has a real impact on milk quality. Checkup was the innovation that we developed as a result of doing this testing on farm to find out what pathogens are there and then what antibiotics we're going to be using. Do we need an antibiotic? Just because we're seeing abnormal milk doesn't actually mean the cow is still sick. Can some of these principles that we're using in human health or infection control be applied to dairy farms? And the answer is absolutely yes. And does that have an economic benefit to the dairy farmer? We believe that we can reduce the antibiotic use on farms by at least 50%. We've found animals with high somatic cell count aren't necessarily the animals still with the problem. So if we're not having to remove those cows from our herd, which would be reasonably typical if you had high cell count cow, you might consider culling her, and they may not be the best cow to cull. There may be others in the herd that are spreading infection. Previously, before things like checkup were around, um, the farmer would do one of two things. The first thing that he would do is if he saw abnormal milk, uh, they would administer an antibiotic in most cases without doing any testing at all. And that's what happens still today in probably 99% of cases in the world. Um, if the animal th then didn't respond, they might consider taking a sample to send to the vet. The reason they didn't send samples to a vet lab before is because of the time delay. The response to checkups has been fantastic. Uh, farmers are really um, surprised at how good they are at it and how easy it is to use the system because then they can determine from their results where the problems are coming from upstream and that's the ultimate aim is to establish can we limit the number of cases by changing something.